you have ever thought that this girl was a murderer? Only you. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it feels good to get the movies going again. I always felt like this was a 90s song. It's in an 80s movie. I'm feeling the setting a little after hours. So Tony, what's the deal with your clothes? Damn, he looks like a <laughs> looks like a kid here. You look like an undercover cop trying to look hip. I am an undercover cop. He's really a cop. Why did you pick up with Sherry? She's a club, though. I still don't know where my cat is. <laughs> All right, Amon. Wish me luck. Oh, he's a comedian here, too. I don't think Mike Myers does stand up. Pussy cats, they make me horny. Saturday morning. <laughs> it's a slam poetry with a TV and a live band. That's performative right there. Uh, do you have haggis? Yes, we do. Um... Uh... Oh, is it a joke? Like, so I married an axe murderer? Oh, wait a minute. Thanks. <laughs> oh, okay, so they're digging each other. <laughs> the parents might be from the old country themselves. Is that Mike Myers? That is Mike Myers. Go with your mother, all right? Why don't you try one of her bras on you, wee girl? Damn. There's a secret society of wealthiest people in the world known as the Pentavrit. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. How can you hate the colonel? Puts an addictive chemical in his chicken that makes you crave it. He ain't lying. William, move your head. That's like an orange on a toothpick. <laughs> I think that's the kid from Mighty Ducks. The honeymoon murderer marries men under fake identities. How do you introduce a premise like this <laughs> in an ad? Her whereabouts unknown. It's a little worrisome here about a serial killer targeting your demographic specifically and their whereabouts are unknown the fuck you've turned into a right sexy wee bastard what the hell was that mama frisky so that song is really tied into this movie huh are you working on the forms of that street yes, vendor Captain. incident up on tony is that alan arkin he really is a cop Oh, and he's a cop and they're gonna find a girl. Okay. Cause I'm like, why focus on this? I'm too nice. Yes, you're too nice. Why can't you be like the captain on Starsky and Hodge? Come on, man. I used to work at a shop. I can help you. I'd love some help. Uh... Is that the girl? No, 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 no. Okay, if this isn't the girl, the axe murderer, this is the one he's at least gonna end up with after that other one fails. You earned that first date, bro. San Francisco, okay. Charles, name one bad thing you've done. Let's talk about you for a second. Beautiful shot, too. How many people have you brutally murdered? What's brutal to one person might be reasonable to somebody else. Hmm. Mm. So what was that about? What do you look for in a woman you date? Bro, he's already really in there. You have to go with breast size. <laughs> You're already in there. <laughs> look at that. She's sitting there skipping and jumping along with you. Hey, hey, what's this? Oh, um, but the... Uh... Is it her? Oh my God, like she's butchering meat. Like she chops up bodies. Oh my God. I wouldn't want to believe it either. Even though I saw all the signs and then I'm... You're having this much of a connection with someone, you're definitely going to try to look past it. I'd really love to kiss you. If I kiss you, chances are we'll kiss in the bedroom. Wait, the title says married an axe murderer. I want to spend the night together. Damn, he's trying to take up with his pants down. <laughs> you were having a dream, and you kept saying the name Ralph. She was moaning Ralph a little weird super comfortable he's gonna see something no ah! i'm sorry i thought you're what somebody else sorry the fuck ralph ralph is real okay then <laughs> what harriet gave me a note to give to you thanks for the hot dog hot dog what would you say to pancakes choose bacon something's up with her are you the murderer? She talked about the martial arts guy and actually she kind of shouted Ralph. <laughs> <laughs>
So who's Ralph? Hell, Harriet. Actually, I don't. But you did have sex with her. Hello. <laughs> Just be careful. Tell me to be careful dating your sister. Okay, there's no way this movie came out in the 80s. This is a 90s song. I'm almost positive. Like, I want to check the year now. I'm a park ranger and I will be leading you on the tour. My name is John Johnson. John Johnson. This is the cell for solitary confinement. Come to be known as Times Square. Damn, that's like sad. Times Square. -ish. So did you and Harriet, you know, last night? And Harriet is a sweet, loving person. That. That. And yes, we did. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Kelly took a makeshift knife and cut out the bitch's eyes. Oh my God. Inmates took turns pissing into the bitch's ocular cavity. There's no way that's real. I mean, it could be. Hit the jackpot. She got her own business. Got the same type of temperament, it looks like. How is this not anything but just a great love story movie? It's the sister. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Go to a restaurant, take your first bite. Under the steak is a scabby bandage. Oh! My meal's free. That's all I know. Or being electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> She's just trying to feel included. That's your boy's girl, you know. Just let me pick up the check. No, 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 no. I'll pick up the check. Uh, okay. Right, and she's willing to pay the bill? I feel really safe with you. Like in all movies when they stay together forever. Forever. See? You have the face of a wee angel. Do you oh. know that? Ah, ah! Why don't you come with me? I have wonderful photographs of him when he was a wee baby. Why do moms always do that? Make sure there's enough paper. And Charlie, light a match! <laughs> I don't know if she said anything about lounge singing. Oh, oh, that's the victims. <laughs> oh, that is that was his name, Ralph. Ralph. Have you always lived in San Francisco? I moved around quite a bit. I think she's a fucking killer. Hell yeah. I'm thinking in my head like what I would do if I knew she was and she was around my family. Friend you had. Was that here in San Francisco? Actually, it was Miami. Oh, hell no. I hated Atlantic City. A town full of gamblers and lounge singers. She said lounge... Nah, fuck that. It's her. We have our suspect. I don't know. It could be her sister, though. Mrs. X. She murders her husbands on their honeymoons. I never heard of it. So what? Right. See, do your research. You got a friend that's a cop? Look some shit up. There you go. Charlie, you're just getting scared. You think that Harriet could be the one? Oh, damn. Ah, uh, I need to talk to a different cop. Being able to sing a song, Only You. Does Harriet even know the words to Only You? <laughs> All three of these guys were reported missing around the time of their honeymoon, but so were their wives. Hmm. It wasn't the tabloids. I have a surprise for you. I made it especially for you. If she was gonna do it, it wouldn't be to the honeymoon, bro. Y'all not married? All right, take it! Fine. F forget it. Have you ever stood at the edge of a cliff and you thought, what if I pushed him? No! What the f is wrong with you? And I could do anything to you in your sleep. Stick a needle in your- ah! Ah! <laughs> You having a busy week, Frank? Been dead around here. <laughs> Kramer? Plumber. Elliot. Ralph. The body was found in a sewer. Oh, well, they found his body. Did they mention the wife? I didn't mean to make a joke about other people's lives. I don't even think Seinfeld was a thing yet. So uh, he was just like a stand-up comedian at this time. Like I said, this I might have the years of this movie wrong. I just don't think we should see each other anymore. Why? Tell me the truth. I think you're an axe murderer. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. At least you left early on. Taking this kind of easy. Which means really writing a joke or a song. I mean, that's got to come back up. Woman! Really? Whoa! Man! Whoa! Is she Mrs. X? I had to run for my life. He left the camera, the candle lit. Maybe that's thinking he doesn't want it to end. Somebody just turned themselves in for the murder of Ralph Elliott. What about the other murders? I'll catch you later, all right? So now you're going to feel like a fool. I don't want to lose you. You didn't. You rejected me. I'm unrejecting you. 
I'm unrejecting you. Yikes. Things were going really good, and then I just got scared, all right? Yeah, you can't tell the truth. Like, I thought you were a murderer. <laughs> this man is... <laughs> it's really hard. This poem sucks. Charlie, come here. I want you to meet a friend of mine. This is Ralph. Oh. Whose name you were moaning? Sarah Connor? <laughs> yes, I love you, <laughs> Oh, God. It's your name. <laughs> yeah. She, she really grabbed this ass. <laughs> so now it's looking like, okay, we got a Ralph in the picture. They found the killer. All the attention is taken off of her. 30 years ago, me and I were married. Some of you were there, and some of you are dead. <laughs> dead. Could have been worse. I still love you. You know, she tongued down some other dude. I think we should spend the next 30 years of our life together. I want you. Oh, man. Yes. You will. Let's get married, Charlie. I mean, they found the dude's body, but they didn't. Oh, yeah, they said they arrested somebody. Yeah, yeah. If you will take this man through good times and bad forever. Is there a layer to this I'm not catching? It's the sister. Look at her. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> okay, there's no way that song was in the 80s. <laughs> You've got this. It's probably been playing all day since the wedding, man. It's been great. I take a break. I mean, how could you have ever thought that this girl was a murderer? Only you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only you. No, man. Nah, nah, hell no. Nah, hell no. Fill my heart with love for only. But we met Ralph. Unless you set that up. I mean, it's great. Your wife sings to you on your wedding day and then about how much she loves you. It's just the only you song. I know that's why he looks a little scared. I think you're great, Charlie. Everything you do is art. You're a sex machine. <laughs> you're the best husband I ever had. What? Why did you just say that? Because I know. Because I fucking know. I'm warning you, Giardino. Back off, Italian boy. That's what you wanted. She's confessed to the murders of Abraham Lincoln and Julius Caesar. She's a nutcase. Oh, shit. See? I won't let you down. Good for you. Yeah, you like really? it. See, I knew this. And they both understood that this is just how you... That is Ralph Elliott's wife. Oh, shit. She was a lot of fun. Smart. Thou face, too. Okay, she is a murderer. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, fuck. Come on, look at the sky. Are you jealous that she's getting married? Is that why her sister's killing them off? It's gotta be her sister. It can't be her. With a storm, we frequently lose power. That's so cool. Do you hear that? A storm. You hear a storm? You hear that? Don't move. All right, what's up with the brash don't move? I'm gonna kick your spaghetti bending buck back to Milan. Was it too much with the ethnic slurs? Man, that's. <laughs> Whoa, what the? F Maybe she's just thinking about her past marriage and that he died on the honeymoon. You've done this before, right? I've never done it at night. <laughs> it's a good friend right there. And it'll wash my hands. What does it ever want? Oh, see? What's up with her? What are you doing? Wake up! I was having an amazing dream. <laughs> I was having an amazing dream. I was eight and a half months premature. Doctors were freaking out. Like, shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt, but there's a phone call for you from town. Yes, sir. It was quite urgent. Come on. Yeah. Harriet is Mrs. X. She killed Ralph and those two other guys. I got a picture. Good shit. Yo, this is the best friend in any movie I've ever seen. He fucking got him the message. I want to play your song for you right now. The platters, oh. only you. <laughs> Fuck that, I'm making a big deal of it. Cops just called me, she's Mrs. X. We gotta stop her. This is official police business. I would like to commandeer this vehicle. No. Can you drive me? You're just not gonna bend on this commandeering thing, are you? No. <laughs> it's asking for a ride. Hey, this couple's had enough of this crowd for one night. They got more important things to do. Dude, get your ass out of our face. <laughs> 
To the roof? Oh, to the room. Uh oh, sh Crazy bitch. I've been married before. I already know that. Hell yeah. Charlie! Oh, yeah, see, he's driving him. Oh, no! Don't go! Charlie! I just can't handle the commitment. It's too hard. Oh, sh See, I knew it. I knew it. Crazy bitch. You took her away from me. I'm going to die. Oh, sh Help! It's all kind of been light up until now. Like my sister is chasing Charlie with an axe. It's my sister. She's killing him right now. Ah! Oh shit! Yeah. Might as well just drop, man. Ain't no way. Listen, that's them up on the roof. Listen. Just don't get it, do you? Oh man, you are really bad at this. I was gonna give you so much credit and props, but bro, you'll hear somebody screaming and an axe. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, you gotta make a move, man. You get sitting here dancing on his roof. Oh, you dirty fighter. I got her, Charlie! I got her! Yeah, I guess as a police officer, you wanna make sure you get your perp alive, you know? You apprehend them alive? Commendations. And all this shit you did to get out there? Jailbird! <laughs> Happy in her cage. No oh, yeah, she's really crazy. Sweet Harriet, you acted cuckoo. Now you see why I was scared because I thought you were a killer when it was really your sister. So knowing. <laughs> so trusting. You didn't know your sister was a killer, though? Sweet Harriet. <laughs> she's there. I was saying all the songs are about how his relationships weren't working out. Man, I did not expect there to be an actual murder. Especially seeing him do comedy at the beginning, I figured it was gonna be something that had to do with it being a joke and then it being a big misunderstanding and then he makes a career out of it. It becomes like a, it gets him on a tee. I don't know. I called it right away though. Rose, she just looked a little bit frazzled. Her being a butcher though and having the stuff in her apartment and dating the guy and it definitely looked like it was her. They did a good job at that. I mean, it wasn't a guarantee it was a sister, but it was still up in the air, especially with the way she was acting when they got married up until their honeymoon and then singing Only You. And then the cop saying she's a match. Shout out to the, the best friend cop though. That dude is easily top five best friends in a movie. Saved his life, literally. Figured it out, put it all together. The phone was only able to be on for a split second. He got the message to him. And if he didn't get it to him, she probably would have killed him in the hotel room, but he locked her in the closet and it just switched everything up. He would have, they would have been just relaxed and more, you know, his guard wouldn't have been up. So many funny like side people and this is being serious. The, the guy that drove him there to the hotel at the end. Phil Hartman as the Alcatraz guard. Let me see the year that this came out in now. Now I can check because I was thinking 80s. There's no way. And I just assumed that because I think Mike Myers is on SNL. Oh, 93? Yeah, because I'll say it had kind of a grunge feel to it just from the soundtrack. And yeah, okay. 93. Yeah, there she goes. I'll say because it, it, it feels like a 90s movie now that I think about it. It just had that uh, after hour Scorsese feel. Soho, you know, especially with stuff like beat poetry and, and the way her home looked. That was really the whole movie. It opened up with that. And then as soon as we got the person arrested, literally less than a minute later. No, well, a couple minutes because he did the, the play at the end. Credits were rolling. Yeah, there she goes again. It's definitely going to be tied into this movie now. I think the last time I heard it was Dumb and Dumber. And that was 95. You see, it just had like a Dumb and Dumber feel to it. For sure, for sure. It seems like something Jim Carrey would have done. Especially with the way he was being silly and goofy. I think they're interchangeable in a lot of movies. I mean, they were Cat in the Hat and Grinch. And they both killed those roles. These characters seem like they were very much in love, though. It didn't seem like it was just a goofy misunderstanding movie. I mean, it was perfect the way they set up. And she was just a girl working at the shop. But the tabloids had it half right. I mean, somewhat right. Yeah, Mrs. X. They didn't say it was her. They didn't know it was her sister. Funny. Even the guy flying the plane that fell asleep. Characters. That's why this felt like After Hours 2. Because the city was a part of... I mean, they showed so many backdrops of San Francisco. And even they even visited Alcatraz. Shot of the Golden Gate Bridge. Crossing the Golden Gate Bridge. Talking about Oakland. When she was scratching his arm. But the characters... 
I mean, it seemed like every side character, even the guy that was at the hotel at the end, that was just being in their face, the waiter. A movie that deals with murder, see, they couldn't introduce that to the very end because up until that point, it was pretty light. And Alan Arkin even just playing the, <laughs> the detective or the, the chief. Dude wants it to be stereotypical. This is like the most tame Mike Myers movie I've seen. Everything else has been surreal. Austin Powers and Wayne's World. I haven't seen Wayne's World since the late 90s. I got to rewatch those movies because I'm going to understand it more now. I saw him as a, a young, 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 young child. The poem work that Mike Myers was doing, throwing that in there, made it definitely seem bohemian a little bit. This movie is a good marker for the sign of the times. This is, this screams and bleeds 1993. A silly fun that's it looks like shooting a movie was fun let alone just watching it and enjoying it and, and seeing it but still a love story at the end of the day he played his dad mike myers love still was at the forefront and the end happy how can you not like that <laughs>